market indexes are probably the type of indexes that investors are most familiar with, as they've been around the longest and are used by a wide range of financial products. They are created to capture and measure a segment, such as a market, region, country, sector or industry. In equities, market indexes are usually built using the value of a company's market capitalization, which is the share price multiplied by the number of shares outstanding. The composition of equity market indexes has historically been relatively stable over time, as companies are added or removed due to corporate actions that impact their shareholder structure, such as initial public offerings, mergers, acquisitions and insolvency, or if there is a change in country, sector or size classification. As for weights, these are commonly adjusted as share prices and market capitalizations change. Fixed income market indexes are also used to measure the market. But while the equity market covers only publicly listed companies, the global fixed income market is broader and more diverse in terms of issuers. In addition to corporate bonds issued by publicly listed companies, private companies may also issue debt, as well as governments and local authorities. There are also other dimensions, like currency of issue, maturity and ratings. Fixed income market indexes are generally broader than equity market indexes, both in terms of the securities as well as the market variety and segment they seek to measure. Advances in technology and data availability have led to newer, more granular types of indexes, which are derived from market indexes by applying an additional set of rules. These rules may lead to the reweighting of securities or the exclusion of certain securities, so that these derived indexes may target an investment style that can be objectively measured. Derived indexes can broadly be divided into the following categories. Factor, environmental, social and governance, or ESG, climate and thematic indexes. Factor indexes represent the return of markets defined by style factors, such as volatility, yield, quality, momentum, value, size, and growth. MSCI's research has shown how these factors historically may have helped explain securities returns and risks. Research has shown that factors exist in both equities and fixed income, and although the metrics or measurements used will differ, and be specific to the asset class, the motivation will be similar. ESG indexes are based on ESG criteria and are designed to help measure exposure to ESG-related risks. Index providers may select from a wide range of techniques to integrate ESG ratings into ESG equity and fixed income indexes. Institutional investors can then choose the index and the methodology that is most aligned with their goals and constraints. They can be constructed around a specific topic, like sustainability or gender diversity, and the securities that show a greater exposure to that topic can be included in the index. A green bond index is an example of an impact index in the fixed income space. Indexes are based on climate metrics and measurements and are designed to help measure exposure to climate-related risks. It is possible to group climate indexes by their objectives, such as minimizing the index exposure to carbon emissions and stranded asset risks, maximizing the weight of companies providing climate solutions, or targeting temperature alignment goals. There are a wide range of climate indexes that can be used as the basis for products that address different investor use cases. They may be deployed for active or passive financial products or be incorporated as policy or reference benchmarks by institutional investors. Thematic indexes are based on quantitative measurements of macroeconomic, geopolitical and technological trends that may have far-reaching effects on markets. These trends may be seen by investors not as short-term swings, but rather long-term structural and transformative shifts.
both market and derived indexes are designed to measure the performance of markets. In the latter category, these markets can be more granular and reference additional security characteristics. Also, both categories will have a methodology where the provider will detail index construction and circumstances around when or why an index changes, which may help investors understand the objective of the index. Thank you.